Common Core is a hot issue right now, and there are lots of questions about it. Now, we don't have so time to go into all of them, but there is one area I chose to really focus on. I've been hearing how Common Core, with its more rigorous requirements, has changed the way teachers teach. So I visited several classrooms, and this evening and the next two Thursdays, I'll share what I observed, starting with this greater focus on critical thinking. What was a notice or a wonder your group had? Uh, that they use direct quotes from the text. Okay, so direct quotes. This is Morgan Hammond's sixth grade class at Ethel Boyce Elementary. They're studying an essay on mythology in advance of writing their own essay. I noticed that Cronus doesn't care about Rhea. It's about more than what's in the essay, but analyzing the deeper meaning. As I tell my kids all the time, I'm not teaching you what to learn, I'm teaching you how to learn. Remember a lot of times authors give you context clues? Next door, Mark Hunsaker's sixth grade class is doing the same exercise, going deeper through critical thinking. And since you guys are talking about theme, what theme might you see in the Medusa and Athena myth? Not to be rude, just not to be self-centered. What do you mean by being self-centered? Hunsaker feels critical thinking is a critical skill in today's society. Employers don't just want an employee that can follow orders, but yet can take a problem and critically think about that problem, look at the consequences, and, and be able to solve that problem on their own without having been given every single direction. This is just the kind of learning principal Paulina Lessie likes to see. It's, it's not just the answer that's the, per, that's the goal, it's the journey you go through to get there, and that that can be done in multiple different ways. And you're going to have discussions with your group members, and you're going to try to decide, is there enough information there to prove that two triangles are congruent? Critical thinking is a big part of Mary Toller's high school math class at Compass Academy. It goes further than just finding the answer. It's not a, a list of problems that, that are out of context, and we're just going to have them um, regurgitate or, you know, solve with no connection. So we're trying to have them make connections. We're trying to have them um, analyze the situation, analyze what information they they know about the problem. So one thing that we notice is that is it's just rotated 180 degrees over to here. Cole Owen and other students are getting the hang of it. I like it because we're learning a lot more in depth and we're really going into the pro problem and finding everything out that's in that problem in every way it's connected to math. Like other than just sitting there like listening to a lecture, you're doing it yourself and you're like using your own mind to figure out why you're doing this. Yeah, just kind of show me what, what you got here. Critical thinking starts in the early grades. If the linking cubes were showing that five can be made up of four and one, it could be thought of as three and two or two and three. District 91 curriculum director Todd Brown showed me how children learn about ones and tens and adding and subtracting through knowing the why behind the answers. That's different than the old days. I mean, we were always taught when it came to dividing fractions, don't ask why, invert and multiply. With critical thinking in mind, Brown has this advice for parents in helping their children with homework. Parents just jump in and want to say, here, let me show you how to do it, or that's the wrong way, and then just try to get them to memorize a step. It'd be better to let them explain to you, this is what I did, and ask them, is it right? How do you know? How do you know it's not right? Did you think about trying this? Those questions to prod their thinking so they make the meaning themselves. Collaboration is another skill in helping students achieve common core goals. As you saw, there's a lot of group learning, and we'll focus on that next Thursday as we continue our series, Common Core, A New Way of Learning.